I had to put on. Sh I had to. I had to. See, see, you jumped on the bed and it was all like, whoop. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Did I choose the wrong time? Was, to start like, recording? If that was recording and I did. Oh, we are recording. We just started recording. It, it, it missed. No, we are about to strip on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas special, it's all what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't do this on um, Facebook Live. Okay, okay. So, guys, welcome back to JAI Communities DD from Campaign. Special quest. I was trying to be all smooth, but I can't look my hand at the same time after it. Quattle Quest Christmas campaign. Hey, look at that. Ooh. Welcome to this magic world. I lost a part of me. Got wrapped up with this magic girl. I hope my heart can heal. I am your DM, Andre, and we are joined by our players starting at the top that I can see at least. I realize I can't point at you guys because then Zoom jumbles up the thing. Anyway, starting with Arlanda Gentles, who plays Gilhanna Flintstone. Holy shit, Gilhanna has, Gilhanna's last name is like the Flintstones cartoon. I just realized that. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was that all the joke? I thought you named her. <laughs> so, she did. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, the Dwarven Ranger. Jesus. <laughs> uh, then we have <laughs> Prince Lane, who plays Orin. Yes. Uh, yes, the Goliath Barbarian, the Did Lion it, of the Crew. That's right. Like intro okay. music in, in post, right? Hmm. Sure. <laughs> we have that budget. Then we have <laughs> Cookie, <laughs> who plays Tegan. Who is, yes, Tegan, the, the human clerk? The human cleric. And finally, we have Sean, who yes. plays the Age of the Mountain. A pleasure, yeah. No. Our Ooh. tabaxi Ooh. wizard. So, oh. <laughs> tabaxi wizard. Where this campaign begins is uh, this non canonical campaign, this session that we're going to run, is after the events of the Coatal Quest, where I don't know if I should even spoil it, but long story short, you found the Coatal and you guys have lived semi-peacefully for about six months. It is the holiday season, and we should name this holiday. holiday season. D&D games have like Christmas as the name of the holiday season, which I think is very good, but also probably copyrighted. Um, Christmas, we'll call it the winter solstice, we'll call it uh, the season. But for now... The oh, it's Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. I was going to say, you, you never winter. <laughs> or Felix Ladida, so that it's not exactly, you know? It's Felix just Ladida. conveniently called Felix Ladida. That's it. <laughs> Felix Ladida. Felix so, Ladida. It's the night before Xmas and all through the home. Where are you guys? What have you been Maybe Wymus? Why not, why not Wymus? <laughs> um, Hitmas. So, Hitmas. The night before Hitmas and all through the home. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll nail this down eventually. <laughs> oh, it was the night before Hitmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And you see a small little mouse sleeping Mr. beside Gilhana. Mr. Meaty, your pet. Gilhana, where are you sleeping? I am sleeping in a refurbished stone hut that is on the outskirts of Zibalba. Okay. Wait, so you wait, wait, hold on. Six months. Six months. I don't right? think you thought about that. Hold on. Six months, right? <laughs> yeah. 
All right, sorry, six months. All right, so six months. I am sleeping, sleeping in a pretty decent room at the Crab in a Barrel. Okay. Uh, you are at the Crab in a Barrel. You hear the little sound of water against the hull of the boat, like dinging, small ship, ship, and uh, you are about to tuck into bed. You would have known that around this season, people make wish lists just in case that you get what they want. It's mostly for uh, good aligned uh, people. Uh, but you figure, despite um, the turmoil that you had this year... Um, and the atrocities I've committed. Straight up murder. Uh, <laughs> you figure that you still maybe might make it to the naughty list. Uh, so you that murder down. was for the greater good. I'm sorry, you might make it to the nice list, I should say. Yeah. The naughty list. It was good murder. <laughs> it was good murder. <laughs> good, it was good murder. murder. It was clean too, all things Welcome considered. to good murder, home of the good murder. Can I take your <laughs> order? <laughs> uh, so you snuggle to bed with your um, mouse, Mr. Meaty, uh, cuddled right beside you. Orin and Tegan, uh, where would you... Well, let me start with Orin. Orin, where would you be sleeping the night before this major holiday? Comfortably in a bed, in a place somewhere that I will think of in three, two, one. We are in a house. Yes. Homeowners, wow. Yeah, homeowners and everything. Goddamn. All that mercenary work <laughs> does pay off. That's a little two-room house. Uh -huh. One and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's a start. It's a start. Start our homes, why not? Is it one and a half bedrooms or one and a half baths? <laughs> one and a half baths. <laughs> baths don't exist. You just have um, um, latrines outside. You have two latrines outside because they're fancy. Fair enough. <laughs> because they're fancy. <laughs> hey. We should in two places. We cook our own five feet away from the bed, you know? Oh, yeah. We Fair probably enough. had to own a house because Oren has broken so many beds just by the sheer size of him. So, like, instantly. Um, <laughs> I don't want to take him in anymore. You, I, Andre, this is definitely going to be spoilers, but if it's six months later, I have to ask. Um, do your parents live with you? That's uh, uh, so another thing. You hear a knock on the door. Hey, Tegan, thanks for having us over um, for the holidays. Um, we, we were going to say goodnight earlier, but we heard so much creaking on the bed. Um, we, we're going for a walk, just in case. Uh, we just, <laughs> good night. <laughs> Your father has been in the latrine for an hour, just waiting. And then she closes the door. Tegan, what would you be up to on the night before it hit me? <laughs> um, you know what? Screw it. This is not canon. I'm making a sandwich. <laughs> Screw it. You said oh. the worst part is I wasn't even thinking that you guys were necessarily using the bed. But I just feel like orange just... Casually sitting on a bed, you just hear creaking galore. <laughs> and your parents are just like, and just open the door and leave. <laughs> and I'm making a sandwich. So if you guys had dirty thoughts, no, I am making food. <laughs> You're making hey. sandwich in the corner of the room while Arn is just there on the bed. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> 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 He's just there, boss. He's just out of bed by himself. It's like, hey, so, he's right, he, he, a bed. Works listen, well, do not insult my man and his three brain cells, okay? Listen. It's a very. Maybe he's making like a tune with the squeak, you know? Just, just, like, what, is, what is squeaking in this medieval bed, though? <laughs> just the wood. <laughs> the rats. Just the wood, <laughs> just the wood and mice. 
<laughs> and goose feather. And <laughs> like the man starts trying to escape the, point, win, uh, 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 escape the winter cold and iron. It's just on the bed. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 Orin at some point probably uh, said to Tegan, just very excited because you got a new bed. Hey, we should, um, let's go test out the bed. And then just like winked at you while your parents were there. And then he fully just meant like ensure the bed was enough to hold both of you. But then they're like. That's really funny. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of things that Tegan Orin would get in to people would interpret in a kind of perverse way, but they're actually just being wholesome. <laughs> oh my god. Let's test out the bed. <laughs> um, Sage of the Mountain, Arshan, uh, what would you be doing before this holiday night? Um, Basically, Sage, in six months, he actually moved out of the university's dormitories or like facilities and he actually got a uh, some lodgings in the city um he is busy at work decorating uh, and cooking uh, awaiting a uh, certain someone to come visit <laughs> you hear a knock on the door oh my all right hey Callan, how are you doing Ooh. where should i put these um, can you just stay, stay here and like carry them for a little bit? I got to make some space. Um, so we have a lot of things to do today. Uh, I have to drop by the university to uh, get a, some of my lecture notes and to give some of the students presents and to do some exchanges. Uh, uh, can I, I interrupt you with a kiss? Oh, <laughs> hello there. And uh, it's like like puts down a present and is like okay continue um i i honestly lost my train of thought but we <laughs> uh, basically just have we have a lot to do and i need your help um i'm gonna go run a few quick errands would, would you mind taking over to cooking i'll be gone for literally 30 minutes all right and uh... You'll head out for 30 minutes. Where were you going? Um, so Sage actually had plans to go see, check in with Gilhana. Ah. Uh, what? Um, all right. Go. Why is that so surprising? I'll, I'll fast forward to when you're outside the Krabina Barrel. Mm -hmm. um, I think you were one of the few of the team that hasn't, even at this point, upset Krabina. Uh, mm -hmm. She opens the door and says, like, oh, okay, Sage, good to see you. Oh, what are you here for? I have business with Gilhana. She was supposed to procure a certain item for me. Okay. All right, I'll walk you to her room. All right, don't look over there. And she, like, just leads you away from an ongoing bar fight where you didn't <laughs> just openly stabbing people. You don't, you haven't learned any healing spells, have you? <laughs> Um, nothing that can heal other people. Ah, uh, gosh, guys, we could make a lot of money from. Anyway, let's just, uh, and we reach the Gilhana's room. She knocks, she opens the door. Hey, Gilhana, would you like to put your full face on the screen? Instead of just the nose, the, oh gosh, it's my internet, isn't it? Or is Orlando? Wait, first? it's my <laughs> Screen? No. Yes, there we go. All right. Yolanda, I'll take it that you've procured the item I asked for you, asked you to last week. Yolanda turns around slowly in her chair. Before yeah. anything, I would like the to item. say, hold on. I don't know what the fuck they're discussing, so it's going to be a surprise to me, the DM. Go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> Yes, the item. So, go ahead and remind me what it was again. <laughs> Johanna, you were supposed to procure a special bronze ring that I found in a very expensive magic shop that I could not afford. Remember? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Find. <laughs> 
Gilhana Gilhana turned slightly and you just see that they see like a, a bandage covering her rib which covering a stab wound. <laughs> Slight of <laughs> slight of hand. The for the slight of hand was not dealt with this one. Yeah, Krabina oh, is God. just looking at her like, yeah. She, I don't know, for her chin just really shit at stealing. You see, Krabina just eyeing a ring that she has on her finger, just like, like a brass ring. If I, I, you don't even need an arcane check to tell it's like sort of magical. She's like, mm -hmm. that poor girl just cannot pick anything to save her life. Oh. I didn't even pick my clothes. I had to ask Kabina to come help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and Sage. I've been Sage introducing her to heels. And it just points down to Gilana's feet. Orlando, can like, you roll acrobatics to walk in these heels for me, please? Oh, yes. Yes, you have. All right. Um, I, do, I, did, I don't think I got the link to the group. To the group role thing. How oh, dare! All right, let me say it real quick. How oh, dare! Oh, is it the same oh, one? How dare! It is. It should be. All right, it's on in there. I it in, in the the Zoom chat. All right. Then. Remember to change guys, your name. Really good up. Yes. While that I share the screen. Oh, the Zoom chat. Ah. <laughs> hmm. This will be this will be edited out and post. Alright, so what am I rolling? D20? I forget. Yeah, acrobatic. To screen, to screen share the thing. I rolled an awesome. 8 and my modifier in acrobatics if I have a modifier in, in acrobatics. Mm -hmm. 4 plus 6. Oh, you weren't sharing the screen, Andre. Uh, there we go. There you go. At 8. Alright. Plus. With an 8, you don't. 8 plus what's your dex? Eight plus my dex. Your yeah, acrobatics six. modifier. My dex is plus two. Acrobatics is plus, plus two. two. Okay. So with a ten, you manage to not um like to an ankle you manage to not fall. But Sage, <laughs> you have seen the catwalk. Um put on uh -huh. out of backseat. Uh, this girl would not be welcome. Like, she's just, like, clumping around, like, very heavily. Kavina is just looking like, this is actually a huge improvement. The last time she just <laughs> went through, like, six pairs of my heels, just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Good uh, job, Kilana, she yeah. uh, And it's then... So he just puts his hand on his face and just like, <laughs> if I could have afforded any and to hire an actual mercenary, I, I would have. <laughs> but I guess I'll have to think of another gift for Callan. Uh, I, 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 can, I can get it. I just need a little bit more time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sage, we'll need to actually close early. So, shoo shoo. Fine. And Sage, like, kind of does that thing where he, like, waves his cape to announce his uh, leaving. <laughs> Sequins flashing the lights. <laughs> He's not wearing his def his uh, defense sequins right now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm, go I'm going to do like a jump forward unless there's anything else that share this screen for now so I can see everyone. Don't share. Okay. Uh, so, um, Gilhana, you sleep in the crab in a barrel. Tegan and Orin sleeping in that, uh, like, I want to say studio apartment. <laughs> uh, stage, no, I mean the duplex. Uh, stage <laughs> sleeps uh, in, I guess, the studio. Uh, snuggle up to Kalan. You will snuggle up with Mr. Meaty, Gilhana, Tegan and Orin <laughs> snuggle up with each other. And the next day, Sage, you are awoke you get woken up first of all by just like a very rough tongue on the side of your face like, like this. Yeah. Your and then by like a tiny bite on your arm just like tiny you know what this is just like yeah <laughs> and so sage wakes up and like in a in, in shock and like literally like bats away whatever is biting him on his arm yeah, so you bat away your familiar, the tiny snake, Bane. Uh, it lands on the wall and uh, slithers down. And it's frantically 
moving about? It's like, first, first, first of all, Bane, did you just bite me? He says this telepathically. Uh, yes, emergency. You, you were called your venomous, right? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they like, aren't they like uh, arachnids where the bites don't have to be venomous? <laughs> it's it's fine. I, I, I feel the burning. So like, like Sage, Sage runs to his bathroom to get some, <laughs> to get some medicine. Some antitoxins. So I can't say it real quick. I can't do such saving so for me real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I literally <laughs> just got up. So 13 is exactly what I'm going to do. That's 14. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> look, like, you feel woozy, but on your way to the bathroom, you kind of shake it off. Uh, and Callan has taken up a uh, bane. Callan, I should say, is your weird tiger. Um, Significant other or just person that sleeps here? We haven't, I don't know, established anything. It, we, we haven't defined anything. We're just kind of like going with the flow. Yeah. Uh, Two for six months, huh? Mm. <laughs> it's a long uh, flow. Has taken up Bane. benefits, why not? We have a situation ship. Uh, takes up Bane, your snake familiar, and is petting Bane. And uh, pretty soon there's a knock at your door. Oh, God damn it! Uh, one second, Bane. And Sage walks to the door and opens it. You open the door? Mm -hmm. And you see... Oh, I'm going to have to move this to the share screen thing. Ah, oh, God. You see... The quarter. Kitchy. Um... Hey, uh, Kitty. I didn't expect to see you here Her at form? my apartment yeah, she's in the middle of the form. city. She looks very panicked and she says, well, we, there is a surprise. And uh, she points over to her daughter and uh, her daughter, Maya, mm -hmm. has a box in her hand. Oh. oh, it's wrapped hey. pencil for bows and everything. Oh, hey, very, hey, very little one. You have something here for me? And no. Sage, no, no, this came for us. Oh, I see. What is it? It seems to be a gift. So, uh, I think you should. Uh, did have you? Do you have a tree? Uh, yeah, we actually have uh, three different trees because I couldn't decide to, on one at the market. So uh, there's a table tree right there, and the, a pretty large tree, and the one right next to the bed. Uh, which one do you need? Okay. Uh, you look on the all three trees, and there's like sprinkles of snow, which is weird in this area, on mm. each of them, and. Uh, before I answer that, actually, I'm going to have the rest of you uh, wake up. So there's a sprinkle of snow under your tree, Sage. Uh, Gilhana, hey. you wake up wake at up. the edge of your bed is something gift wrapped. Orin, Tegan, you look over and would you guys have trees or anything like Anything? Well, let's no. say... Yeah, go ahead. See, you see, after the bed... Yeah, the bed was expensive. We couldn't afford the tree, so we do have a bundle of twigs taped to the wall. Yeah. So it has, like, twigs and a makeshift kind of thing. Like, maybe, like, <laughs> little paper decorations or something. <laughs> it's about this traditional um, holiday tree for yeah. barbarians. Not like we would have space for a tree anyways. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of cramped. We got one big dude, me, and two others. But, and also the yeah. baby on the way. <laughs> on the pile because, of because you would have you. We don't know that yet. Oh no! It's been six months. We made the pile of twigs real quick. It's been six months. Should we roll for that? 
Aaron, um, just, no just real quick, just a performance check to see how good you made that. that. Wait, also Wait Andre, Andre, we yes. also have to do a roll, another roll, because it's been six months since the end of the last. You want to roll for pregnant? You want to roll to see if I'm pregnant, don't you? Yes. Uh, let's roll the performance after oh. my performance. Um, put on the rolly thing, DM. That is a plus <laughs> Oh, you just get off. Performance. I'm scared. That is a nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it be twigs in a corner. Performing up to par. Oh, no. This was just for the twigs in a corner. <laughs> this was not for any... Anything else that they've been up to? I assume right. they've gotten better. Mm, fair enough. Fair enough. Roll fight just real quick since you're on the. I mean, you're right on the dice. We could just. Let's just go real ahead. quick. Go Tegan, all all right. Right. Why not? You two. Let's are get you to Are you six months along right now? I mean, I have disadvantage on these things, but sure. Wait, are, is Prince rolling? Wow. 14. Almost got a. a not 20, almost. Almost. Got that Wait, what would the net 20 mean? Term. What, what would the two net 20 mean? Not 20 means 20 quadruplets. No, right? wait, we no. have been rolling for babies. I roll for babies because the universe decides this. Hi, Zarno. It's fine. Because it won't be relevant in the arc of this chapter. <laughs> no. Hi, Zarno. The couple has to do decide. Low. Let's go. 48. Okay. It's been real close, but nah. <laughs> maybe oh, there right. was maybe we had a pregnancy scare. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then everything was fine now. Our, 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 yeah. our shifted you in the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> so good. The performance. Okay. Yeah. Was... Anyway. Well, <laughs> pretty sure I did. All right. All right. So everybody, give me like real quick perceptions. Um, for what's under y'all trees, it is not twenty. I got that is a, a orange man. For a roll on our behalf, because we're in the same no, no. space and we have one. Yeah. I got nine, nine. So, so I got eleven. All right. So fourteen Diana, here with a not twenty. You had written a letter to Santa. Uh, you are urchin. You heard about this. Uh, what did you write on your letter? I want an axe, but not an axe, not just an average axe. I want a battle axe that has the ability to freeze whatever. It Should can I roll? You, I mean, you don't have to at this point. Uh, with a nat 20 Gilana, you don't even unwrap this thing. You just look down and you're like, oh, I have been good this year. I mean, I've never gotten anything the previous year, uh. I don't think. But I've been good <laughs> this year. And you, you hug, bring up your thing, you hug it to your face. You don't even have to unwrap it. You feel it. Chill. Very yeah, I can't, I can't take my face off of it because it's stuck. Again, I don't I'm think you're stuck. Would... It's Tegan... everything I've ever wanted. Again, I don't think you would have been the type to like actually sit down and write to Santa. Like it would have felt too close to your connection to That's the Santa. Probably yeah. have just done something more realistic, like send out a request letter or something to get something because no man were, i mean at this point he's, a legend. I... Like, he's as much a legend in this world as he would be in that one sata kind of maybe exists but uh a little I mean, more real wait, than look, there's world. a way to bullshit the process for everything i will just say orin convinced me because yeah. he was like he's gonna do this and he's not doing this or not so he well, convinced of course, me to write a letter we had to this Fanta. large goliath man that wore red suit and he would deliver fresh meat to all the Goliath children. It was <laughs> wonderful. Aww. Occasionally, he'd actually deliver <laughs> gifts. And if you were naughty, he would, he would kidnap you. you in the middle of the night, and you would never be heard from again. So just to humor him, um, Tegan, you had written something on, uh, on your... Yeah. Uh, he, mm. You even helped him to write his because you realized that straws on a little note beside his pillow was the word Hamlet, H-E-M-L-I-T. <laughs> so you're like, you just like cross it out and wrote Hamlet for him properly. <laughs> and then just add lion, lion helmet. So you take, 
this is half joking. This is half because Prince just sent me like in all caps on the ask, What do you want for what do you get character want for Christmas? Like Prince just very hurriedly <laughs> just tells me the word Hamlet, and I was like, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> very accurate. <laughs> That's uh, honestly really cute. That's precious. Oh my god. Here's the word Hamlet from the side of pillow and uh wrapped up. You get you, want a helmet. you open the box or and there's a helmet. Tegan, you wrote yours mostly just to humor him. Uh you almost already have what you really wanted, which was a home somewhere where your parents could maybe visit and stay. Yes. Uh even your gift. Oh my god, home. you're right. You open the box and once again, it's some uh, selfless gift. It's some clothes for your parents to put on for their Christmas present. Ooh. Yes. And uh, so I got Hamlet. Yeah. Hem- hem- Hamlet. Hem- and my oh, parents yes. have new clothes. You put it on uh, Aaron and it's a lion helmet, perfectly fit. The, of course, the mouth of it is right over your face. The teeth like point down to your eyes. And sage of the mountain, you look under mm. your tree, panic a bit because maybe there was an intruder in your house. Callan starts sniffing around. Uh, Bane goes to greet his family, and you see just a large box that basically takes up the entirety of your apartment except the bed. I should say up your abode. Oh. The apartment didn't exist. I do not believe that that was there a second ago. But Sage like goes up to it to inspect it. Um, hmm. He wants to cast um, detect... What was it? What was it? Identify. <laughs> Identify as a ritual. So basically over to the 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think you have detect magic. Did you get Identify later I do. On? No, I had, I had them at the same time. Okay. Uh, but detect magic it just says that there. It says, it, says, um, it says that there's magic happening. Obviously, there's magic happening. So just identify. Okay. It's the magic of crimson <laughs> or wise. What are we calling this? Felix Lenda. I don't even know anymore. No, hit miss. Right. Hit miss. Uh, right. Hit miss. So we're hit-miss. we're agreeing that it's hit miss. Hit miss. Um. So you cast identify on it. It seems to be imbued with uh, a very powerful sl- fly spell. Ooh. You have not owned the box Papa yet. What? The tinsel is on it still. You rolled also very low on your perception. It's just all you're picking up is fly spell essence. <gasps> and Sage, like, eyes widen. Could it be? And he, like, rips open the box. Um, yeah. Very uh, excitedly. Mom. With his claws, mind you. So he's literally, like, clawing and, like, tearing it. <laughs> You ever see like a cat scratch cat leg? A scratchy cat. That's how it's looking right now. Mm-hmm. This is a good yeah. question for me to ask. I was going to say, Kylan, like as cats would do, sees one cat tearing up one thing and just jumps up and starts crying. Scr- <laughs> is he in weird tiger form or have you gotten used to human form, Kylan? Um, it's been six months. Like we've slowly been adjusting me to having him in either form, but he knows I prefer weird tiger form. But yeah. So, just the humor you because it's Christmas. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the weird tiger form all week. <laughs> just you in weird tiger form. Man, and I can op- Im- I can imagine it. Why are you talking to me without your fur? <laughs> <laughs> Put on the fur suit. <laughs> you know I can't. You know I can't. <laughs> You know not to talk to me about fur before I have my first <laughs> cup of coffee. Not the first thing to talk to me about the first thing. <laughs> no. no. Oh you know what? Let's, let's, let's not give uh, Sage that much prejudice. He just prefers him. Prefer. Actually. He prefers the fur suit. He prefers, he prefers the fur suit. Um, yeah. So you open it and it is a toboggan. It seems like it would hold about four people. Uh, just like a sled. Like a sled? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. And he looks over to Callan like, Callan, I got it. I actually got my flying sled. I guess sled. 
What are we yeah. calling this? Your flying sled. You get to name it. The fl- uh, the sled, the sled of cheery flight. But I saw, I saw in um, <laughs> in uh, Leviosa's uh, Hitmus catalog. Yes, yes, magic stuff. Yeah. Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa. <laughs> I think it's pronounced <laughs> Leviosa. <laughs> it's not pronounced with God. I'm Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Oh, my God. Yeah, and Sage is, like, utterly excited. He, like, picks it up. Like, how how big is this? Can you pick it up? Uh, you tap on it, <laughs> and it sort of, like, you struggle to pick it up. Uh-huh. And Yo, then it's... I've not heard that ringtone in a long time. Right? Yep. Ancient times, we really have gone back in time for this campaign. Uh, you know, pick right? it up and it uh, pretty much starts to float on its own. Like as you have your happy thoughts and think about it, it starts to float on its own. Uh, nice. Kichi, the quarter in human form currently. Oh, what you're saying, Deb? It's the magic of. Hitmas. 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 Magic. Hitmas. Hitmas. Magic. It kind of reminds me of like Peter Pan. You think happy thoughts, and you'll be able to fly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sage is like over, like overly aesthetic right now. So he's this like is what almost. Like. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, can it be that one with the little back, like the railing in the back? It's brown, gray. It's yours. Yeah. Yeah, but like big enough for four. You said. Yes, speaking of before. Um, the kitchen, quart- the quartal turns to you and says, I'm very glad you are enjoying your present. Um, mm-hmm. But speaking of present, someone was in our house. Oh, oh right. You have a house, so that's me. Right. Our home, abode. Cave. Cave. Uh, w- where are your friends? Um, I believe Gilhana would still be at the uh, the Carbina Barrel, Carbina Barrel, and uh, the, the lovely couple would be at their home at this time of day. Um, should we go see if they got any surprises as well? Gilhana is and like that and like Sage is, Sage, Sage is keeping very composed, yeah. but he's also like very excited just to like fly his toboggan to the, to the <laughs> places. You see the twinkle um, in his eye. Let's just try it. So the you, Kalan, Kichi, Maya, I'll get on the toboggan. Ah, toboggan. Why did I pick a thing I couldn't pronounce? I couldn't have made it anything. The oh. sled. The toboggan. The sled of cherry flies. Let's call it a sled. It could have it could have yeah, been, been the sled. Come on, guys. Yeah, it could have been the sled. Oh my, yes, we're going to do that. Sled. Oh, cohesiveness. So no open play. It's a sled. So we have we have the defense sequence and now we got the slay slay. Defense three. <laughs> the defense sequence and no the defense sequence and the slay slay. Uh, mm-hmm. so you do you put on the t- defense sequence as you go slay? It's well, I guess we all need to be good list. It's not snowing, it's not cold. Nobody yeah. has, most people haven't seen a tabaga. Yeah, it's fine. No, I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing it, but I do have it, kind of like in my battle pack. Just in your pack, uh, and uh, Kalan, uh, do, do you want to bring him with you? I, you, I, it, you had manifested him in this world, so I have no plans. I for do. You. I, I do. He come. He come. Oh well. Yeah, I still want him to come. come. No, I wanted to come, and I, I turned to him, just like, oh god, I wonder what, wonder what song it comes preset with when it flies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. jingle. Okay. He they want to see hero named Dragon. Sorry, it's a white one from all the Oh god. Oh it no. Like the, Sage, no. Sage, Sage. So everyone like every, everyone ready and Sage like like magically turns the volume up to max just to, <laughs> and we we take off we're taking off towards um Tegan and Aaron's place, and you hear doom, 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 slay, 
I just hear the jingle bells. Ching, 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 as yeah. you go. Uh, I will remind you that you have the sending stone. So if you tell, like, if you called Orin and told him to meet you at the Krabina Barrel, y'all could just meet up like well quick. Well, well why would you surprise, right? Why not have the big guy in the sleigh? I say we show up on you show up on an outpost. Alright, it's a slayer and assumes it's a dragon. Because only dragons fly. It, when, you're, when you're friends with a barbarian, there's there's no announcement needed. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. I couldn't tell, I couldn't tell you like Especially how many times... Especially now that he's wearing a lion hamlet. I couldn't tell you but how many times in the past up. six months he's literally showed up to my place and just kicked my door down. I've had to have that door magically fixed three times. <laughs> Actually, like 15 times knowing oh, you are in the Callan's track record. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not calling those. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so you, uh, I'm, I'm going to fast forward. I'm uh, assuming you guys invite Gilana, yes, uh, somehow, and you are all gathered around these strange items. Um, Maya opens her box, and uh, she says, "It's what I wanted. Just another shield." And you see uh, another shield similar to the one that uh, Galana would have given away that uh, that uh, eventually gave away the whole position. Ah, uh, that well, shield. Uh, the Koato looks at you. Now, they revert to snake form. I'm assuming you guys meet somewhere safe. And oh, yeah, uh, they wrong. say, mm -hmm. it is understandable um, Kitchy starts, the older one. And Sage, you can start hearing Bane in your head again. Mm -hmm. uh, it is understandable that they would have found you uh, to give you the gifts of Christmas. The spirits of Hitmas Hitmas may have found you. Hitmas. However... <laughs> The fact that something was powerful enough to find us. I mean, there are certain spirits that draw their power from the seasons. And uh, it is possible that a powerful enough entity may have been able to bypass our ways of non-detection. Uh, the, the winter solstice, especially the Christmas season, draws, uh, so there is only one being that would have drawn so much power from Christmas. Father Hitmus. Yes. Well, two Orange, Orange, Orange it, chimes it in. <laughs> Orange chimes in while wearing its helmet and only boxer shorts. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> you all said he was not real, but you see what happens now. Look. Yes. Well, there <laughs> I mean, more than one. I should, I should not have said one because uh, there are other the spirits that there are other beings that draw the power from Christmas, like Mariah Carey. Or, it must. Uh, it must. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mariah Carey, the most powerful winter oh, deity. Yeah. The most powerful of all the deities. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have been it, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, focus. Uh, so, Orion, yes, you have an idea. I'll just uh, establish it because the alternative is I make you guys roll history checks and knowing y'all, you all roll a one and then I have to find out a way that you <laughs> Orion, you automatically... Oh, let's do it anyway. Uh, that uh, it may have been Father Hitmas, as you call him, or Santa, that was powerful enough to bypass the non-detection magic of the quarter to actually find where they live. Mm -hmm. And it is generally agreed upon, Bane chimes in, that such powerful creatures, even if knowing where we are, would leave us alone. Something has disrupted the normal flow or rules in place for this magic creature. 
I know you have done a lot for us, but I beseech you, Sage, if you can convince... Oh, he realized he's only talking to you. And because of the telepathic link, uh, they're on the same wavelength. So Kichi, his wife, just chimes in. If uh, you may assist us with finding out what was what happened, it would be very good in ensuring our continued safety and the safety of my daughter. It chimes in. Yes. I see. Hmm. Damn it. I won't be able to get um, to the bakery. How, how, but um, <laughs> no, as I just saying, the, the best thing we should probably do is to actually figure out the type of magic that was used to actually deliver these gifts and who they belong to. Um, hmm. uh, can everybody give me a perception check real quick? Time for the bad rolls, everybody. Woo! Bad rolls. I got 21. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, uh, on this. And then just nine across the board from Orange and Tiga and as they stare into each other's oh, eyes. Wait, 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 wait. Not paying attention. I get plus four in perception. You're staring into his eyes, but you're looking into the sky. Yeah, so you're staring into the, uh, the sky. His uh, <laughs> Kilana with a four is just looking at her axe, just like bringing it in a corner. Um, Tegan and uh, Tegan and Orin are just looking into each other's eyes. Uh, but because Tegan, you're shorter than Orin. Does 13 make a difference? Hold on, that's what I get into. Because you're shorter than Orin, Tegan, you also happen to be looking up into the sky, where is this, which is the same place where Sage is looking, where you notice just a trail of... Uh, it looks sort of like smoke from where you are, Tegan. Sage, with your 19 plus plus whatever. Uh, oh, this. You mean this? Actually... Oh, no. <laughs> it's... Uh, it has a similar aureole, blah, 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 blah. God, I'm going to have to go Google what that thing is. Yo, then there's so much research. Aurora, oh, Aurora, 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 Aurora Borealis. One of them is Aurora a snake Borealis. eating its own tail, and mm -hmm. one of them is lights in the sky. Ouroboros is the one eating the The tail. Aurora is the lights, and Ouroboros is the sn snake. Yeah. So Ouroboros is the snake eating its own tail. Which yes. I guess would be relevant. Ben starts eating his own tail while I'm. Uh, no. <laughs> ben is like stressed the fuck out. <laughs> okay, Aurora Borealis, uh, right beside your Aura Boros. Um, but you do see like these little Boros. streaks. <laughs> Boros, damn it. Like, you do see these little streaks in the sky. Yep. Uh, they look like uh, whip, wisps of cloud, and they're heading in like a very straight line over the horizon. And oh, oh how, how you hear the distance. <laughs> yeah, you hear the tinkling of bells. And uh, um, Kichi turns to you guys and says, yes, we suspect that whatever caused it is coming or came from that direction. Mm. We know of a magical being, Santa, that may have been responsible. And Sage's eyes, like, kind of squint. He's like, of course, Santa Claus. Yeah. Uh, but, but like, C-L-A-W-S. Because <laughs> 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 among the beasts, like, he is, like, a, an anthropomorphic, like, creature. This that would make sense presents. that each, like, each culture has their version of him. The giants have, like, this huge, hulking, um, uh, ice-resistant man in a red man suit. In a, mm -hmm. just, like, red <laughs> smears everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. the dwarves probably just have, like, this very chunky... It's a machine. Uh, <laughs> it's a machine, machine that, that, that just turns me. out, I guess, mm -hmm. just turns out toys. And for the tabaxi, who learns of it through like their culture being like mixed and thick. like just have like a Santa Claus, like a tabaxi 
in uh, our long red robe. Anyway, uh, she says, if you hurry, you may be able to catch the updraft that brings whatever force back there. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, wish to challenge Father Hitmas. You know what? Every, great everyone, one, get, get on my <laughs> slave Wait, thing. No. No, don't do that. We can just have a talk. We have no time to talk. Aaron stops to get away. Have, no, we don't have time to fight him. Aaron stops yes, like. yes, you should talk. Um, Kitchi is saying, yes, yes, you should talk. As you sit on this sleigh, and she just puts you there, Tegan. Yes, yes. And then she puts Aaron, I didn't realize Aaron's <laughs> legs going to have to stretch. So she puts Aaron further back. <laughs> like, yes, yes, long talk. And then she just like pulls <laughs> Gilhanna by the hand and just like, Puts the, like just gives Gilhana a hug. Uh, Ma Maya Gilhana runs up to you and gives you a hug. Um, a really quick um, question. Yes. Um, Gil what are we wearing? <laughs> um, Gilly, Gilly just wants to ask Sage if he can use the tech magic on that shield to see if it has the same tracing skill as the last one. <laughs> because no I live, I've lived through that. that and I don't want to live through it again. Well, I mean, we would have been meeting like outside, so you'd be wearing appropriate outside wear. And it's yeah, also that, still she does have a good so point. Um, I'm in my boxers. <laughs> of course you are. You love. At this remember. point, I've just accepted that Orin enjoys being naked. She does have a I'm good not even point. Fighting it anymore. You guys Sage. are Sage. currently in the tropics and dressed as such. As such. True. So I mean, I'm um, just wearing like an, a, a normal dress. Pretty straightforward dress. Not even I mean, armor right now. I mean, I live in the tropics right now. It's pretty cold in the mornings, no yeah. lie. So. And like, um, I, I Sage looks at Callan and it's just like, ah, I told you these would come in handy. And he grabs a little vial from his pack, which he splashes on the ground, and he kind of gets him in his in his um in his battle gear. And it's just like, there there have been too many times I've been caught unawares with <laughs> the wrong outfits. So <laughs> just start calling him Tony Stark. Uh, exactly. So basically, he has his was, like defense sequence. He has his um, what was it called? Jungle craft amulet, and <laughs> basically uh, his his warp, his robes. Sage, I will say that you have three more. All I have. Gotcha. As in, can you just give I, it to the rest of these people? So we don't oh, sure. Oh, right. um, <laughs> all right. It's gonna, but here's the thing. It, like these are kind of preset to my magical signature. So like. They might have random effects. Well, we're, we're right in front of the cabin of barrels, so... That's you'll fair. Have That's fair and enough. Here. And Sage, like, throws it like, literally at their feet. And, like, huge puffs <laughs> hey. of smoke cover them. And, like, will away. I back up. None of that. I have my sword. That is all I need. And my amulet. Um, do a dexterity saving day. throw for me real quick. Say um, your box. <laughs> Aaron, dexterity saving <laughs> throw. <laughs> With advantage. Wait, did you just dodge my? I want to. <laughs> very point. Um, I don't know. Very a save against his that. save. Can I do that? Yeah. Hold on. The danger. Danger sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can roll to hit. But there's um, no save. danger. I'm going to, I'm going danger to roll. Danger is not with any intent. What did you there's roll? No I don't danger. see it on mine. Let me reload. Roll to hit. Oh. So I rolled ten plus. What, what is the plus again for that? Dexterity. Uh, what did you roll to dodge, Aaron? 10 plus 2. Oh. oh, one sec. Good advantage. You rolled 9. No, that was for the, to oh. see the streaks are stuck. With okay. a 2 and a 1, Aaron, um, you dodge out of the way of your bottle of clothing and uh, get in the way of... Uh... Hi, Zarlod. Um, I'll thought this out. Don't worry. So, oh, let's no. just let it happen. Let's let it happen, man. You gonna roll it? All right. Ties it, Tegan's lows it. Okay, so you get in the way of Gilhana's clothes, and you're just wearing like just a furry suit, uh, leopard <laughs> armor. It's very close fitting. Gilhana is like five <laughs> feet. You are eight feet. It's a belly shirt. <laughs> that comes back to the end of your chest and then there's like just a little skirt thing that is just barely covering your dangla. <laughs> 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 
Wonderful. I just like Very us. Lovely. Like just <laughs> leopard print. <laughs> of course, Tex sees this and she's just. <laughs> <sighs> It's been a long time. Battle ready armor. <laughs> Battle ready armor. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, not what I would have picked, but I guess this will do. All right. Oh, you're <laughs> keeping it done. <laughs> so the, the smoke trail started to disappear. You guys getting on this sled? Yeah, Gilana Gilana already has her suit on and stuff, so she's good. Oh, imagine if Oren got in my way. That would be cute. <laughs> that was the other option. <laughs> All right, Gilana jumps on the sleigh. The sleigh sleigh. Sleigh sleigh. Yeah. Sleigh sleigh. I got Oren looking like a whole caveman, you know, in his skimpy ass armor. <laughs> and you guys fly. Like, a, like you know, those freaking Halloween... Parties where you can't dress like a slut. <laughs> yeah. Mom, <laughs> save it. For, Mom, oh. save it for when you guys can get to a room. I can. Be no, there is no room. We're on a freaking sleigh. See, uh, your parents um just kind of look at each other, look at you. What's our day? <laughs> uh, or was it the crab in a barrel that you oh. met at? Does not matter. You guys are in the sleigh and it's flying away. Uh, Callan waves you goodbye, Sage. Uh, your parents, I guess, wave you goodbye. Uh, Tegan, um, Krabina is there for some reason. Ireland uh, just waving Gilhana goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. And you guys hop on the sleigh. She's, the she's shaking her fist angrily because I haven't paid rent as yet. <laughs> you check your pockets and, like, gold is missing. Okay, interesting. Uh, uh, Sage, Sage says the activation spell. Oh, you Slay, have to Slay, roll away. against that. Slay, Slay away is you the activation. Hold on, can I get a clean audio of that? Slay, 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 Slay away. <laughs> okay, and uh, you fly up, and as soon as you hit that little updraft, you guys are pulled, like, almost at speeds that you did not even imagine possible. It feels as if you were teleported and you arrive before you even know it at somewhere where it is snowing for miles. All you're seeing is mountains and snow. Orin, it almost, almost, almost feels at home except larger and just like a wider expanse. It reminds me of home. You guys see in the distance? It is cold. There, it's freezing. Uh, you guys see in the distance where there is a little abode. Looks sort of like an igloo mixed with a factory. Okay. You're approaching... We're infiltrating unless... Santa Claus's house. You guys are approaching. Uh, if there's anything that you want to do, you can tell me. Johanna would like to move stealthily. You're and in the sky yeah, on the sled. Look out for a constant danger. <clears throat> are you going to just oh, hide so behind somebody on the sled? Because you guys are in a sled moving at very high speed. Right now it's about. Oh, okay, then. I thought you said we landed in front. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, you guys are still in the air on that updraft. Right now you're about, say, call it a football field distance away. I, I, di I did leave Callum behind, right? Yeah, four people. Sled. Okay, good. Good. Um, Sage kind of like gets triggered as he remembers from like he gets triggered by the cold, and like has flashbacks. Of the cold. And he, and he, he takes he takes a quick breath in. He's like, "All right, we should we should go investigate." Constitution saving throw for me as you take a cold uh, breath in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nope. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, um, Sage or everybody. I just have like, my my Sage my mostly. scarf, and I just kind of like put it close to my neck. Everybody, what Sage disadvantage then? What from taking a breath? Oh, oh, oh I got fun. that one. Ooh, I got that's 13. a thirteen. Not a disadvantage. That's not bad. Thirteen plus. Already nine. have a guess advantage. <laughs> because you're used to the cold. Wait, I have a scarf around not my neck. Not twenty. Guess are not twenty. Uh, mm. Megan, you can just do it a normal roll. Uh, you say you have a scarf, you do it with advantage then. 
I want to know this type of roll. Just do a normal roll. It has fur. Hold on, it don't roll it. Do a normal roll. Yeah. Do a normal roll. Okay, good, good. 13 is all right. Um, the sage's fur come for nothing. Uh, <laughs> what yeah, is the roll? It's a cold yeah. so it's in your body yeah. now. But uh, I just, I love how, how many, how long has it been since we've done an assumption? We have a nat 20 and a nat 1. I... <laughs> By the usual <laughs> culprits. Pretty much. Orlando has taken his seat at the Nat One table. He's just like, brush this off for me. I'm right back. I'm coming right back. <laughs> first the Nat 20, first the Nat One. And I'm, and I'm back with the useless Nat 20. Yeah, you're all at 20 to not be cold. Um, Gilana, you're freezing, but luckily, orange stone skin is sort of warm, but you feel like your fingers you won't be able to like use them as nimbly for a while until you get somewhere warm mm. i'll just give you this I advantage on your next to for warm. or a slight of hand or attack once it use dex just disadvantage on the next one you do mm. and as you guys approach uh you hear a the noise of a siren and I'm going to need y'all to roll initiative as you realize that because you guys are coming up on a flying sled, an army of elves are attacking. <gasps> oh, <no. laughs> 13. 17 plus 2, uh. so 19. Wait, I always roll bloody initiative hard. Let's roll Damn it. Music. Give me a Oh, Got 19. 19 nine. God, I fucking knew it. Orange. That's, that's four plus two. Oh my god! Stop it! I always roll sh shit for, for shit. I hate it here. Hold on. I need to go look for. Man, how long has it been since I've opened this book? I had written down spells. Just give me a minute. <laughs> All right. An army, huh? Golly. What did I? Y'all, y'all looking at this. Right? I shouldn't even show y'all this. I should have a DM dice roller all to myself. That should be hey, Christmas. Wow, 19, 9, 14. Actually, do that because I'm on another screen entering them and that helps a lot. And <laughs> if you lie to me, I'll just put them all at 19. One more time for me, please. <laughs> 19, 9, 14, 5, 5, 15, and 8. I am so glad that you think I'm competent enough to go as fast as you were saying. Them 19. Yeah. <laughs> we start from the beginning. <laughs> 9. <laughs> 14. 5. 5. 15. And the bonus ball is 8. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but guess what I did? I was clicking accidentally on print. You know what? I'm really messing the fact that we've got Gilly in basically Oren's outfit and Oren in basically Gilly's out, and I'm just and I have an an army of elves. Like, can can we can we not fight you? We don't want to talk. I don't want to. Get the ire of Santa Claus. It's crimson. I mean, like, why is he attacking us in the first place? Right. Santa is more like an enemy than anything. Why is he else attacking us in the first place? He gave us. He gave. He gave Sage the sled. He gave us these tools of destruction <laughs> so that we may use them against him. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't make sense. Santa has issued a challenge. <laughs> no. Well, I suppose in, like, only Goliath the weak, culture, only the weak Santa has only, probably come back. Only the strong will survive. Only the strong will survive. While, while everyone is, like, ranting in unison, Sage mutters under his breath, finally, old man, I'll get my revenge for all those years ago. <laughs> okay, calm down, Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Sasuke theme again? Listen, we're going to have a lot of opportunity to like use copyrighted things, 
Well, like, let me <laughs> remind you that we can, like, we're going to be releasing this. So we can sort Fair of enough. each get sued. Um, but like, Honestly, don't use the actual oh, thing. We can parody. Oh, I think we can get away with one line of each thing. <laughs> you know what? So all copyrighted music will now be replaced with the Slay Slay theme song or the Slay Slay theme remix, Osa version. Um, <laughs> um, what were you guys initiative roles again, real quick? I got uh, uh, 19. Oh, yeah, I should add my initiative to it, right? Mm -hmm. Six. So, uh, Overall? Nine. Laptop. Yourself, this time I remembered. Was it six? Wait. Was six the raw roll? Yeah. Um, Are you proud of No, me? it's four plus two. I remembered that I don't have dexterity. So I did not <laughs> ask no if I could add a <laughs> It's a like Christmas. Right, so it's a like Christmas miracle. Improvement. Fifteen for me. <laughs> fifteen I'm overall. Always roll terrible. God damn. Yeah, fifteen overall. Oh, my initiative is always trash. Don't you have... You don't have advantage on initiative, no? Sage, what was your initiative? Do I? Wait, I like to have advantage on initiative and then answer. Not for me. 19. 19. <laughs> all right. Um, with that, I hope you all decided what you're going like do. Cause you mean oh, I go for besides it. kill? I mean, okay. I'll fight. I will kill. I've killed multiple things. But, like, I don't want to. But All I right. will if I have to. So, um... Let's approach. Let me describe the area. Mm. There is a snowy mountainous terrain that you guys are currently over. A large igloo slash factory that you are approaching as you see the the trails that you followed that are basically pulling you here, weakening now as you reach to the landing point, are it pulls you toward it's pulling you towards a door, but you can't really see it clearly as yet. Uh, between that are seven elves scattered over the landscape. And you realize that these elves, uh, you know what? Enough talking. There are seven elves scattered over the landscape. There's like a little wooden bridge leading up to this uh, building, to a door. And I'm going to just roll some attack rolls real quick. Just to like, just to like start it off. Skadoosh. Because I get to go first. That's a six and a one. I guess they don't hit. That's fine. That's fine. I never want to like hurt or no harm one in any way. Sage, you're first. Um, where are all of them from me? Okay, you are on the sleigh. Slay, slay. Slay, slay. So the sleigh is a boat. Call it 150 feet away from the door of the building. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, one that is uh, about 50 feet away from you. Away uh, mm -hmm. from that one is the other one is about 20 feet, and then they're spread out about 20 feet away from each other. The other four. Cool. Then at the far side, 150 feet away, you have one on each side of the building. Gotcha. So, so the closest one is the 50 feet. Yes. Um, all right. So let's see. Um, is it just one? How many are 50? Just one? Yeah. All right. So Sage is literally just going to uh, 50 feet. Uh, point at the closest one to me and cast. Magic missile. Okay, bad boy. All right. Um, <laughs> first level spell slot. Let's go. Just roll damage because I you can see him. He's there. Mm -hmm. So let's so see. It automatically hits. Remember spells, guys, and damage rolls. It's been let's so long. D fours. 
Yeah. Oh boy. So for each of them, five, two, and two. Five, two, two, nine overall. Um, mm-hmm. you blast into the cell. Not quick enough. Uh, I can't hear you. Can't hear you, Andrew. Can hear you a while ago. What was the last thing you heard? Like so? I yeah. heard you blast into this elf. Oh, perfect. So you blast into this elf. He does not like that at all. He looks on the brink of death. Ooh. Um, let's see. I see. You guys are still <laughs> on the sled. Uh, it's, it's slowing down to a halt, just like approaching the ground at this point. Oh, okay. So we haven't even landed yet. Um, good to know. Um, Sage takes out a net, and uh, that will be about it. You and that fucking net. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll another attack because that is <coughs> my nine plus what? Come on, give me something. <laughs> That's nine plus three. Does a twelve hit you, Sage? A twelve. Yes. Um, as he pulls out an arrow and fires at you. Aren't you 13 now with the sequence? Um, yes. Yes, I am. With your defense sequence, your AC is 13. Mm-hmm. So uh, he fires at you, uh, but you are in this, like, you don't get a lot of sun in this uh, northernmost continent. But like what the little sun was there shines in his eyes as he tries to get a good aim with at you with his arrow it <laughs> blinds him at the last moment as he fires off and it just whiffs right past your face Amazing. Um, <laughs> Gilana, you're up alright then cool um, I will I, I am, I am Gilana. how far are the hills from each other? Uh, not very close the fr- closest one is uh, at the end of each turn, I'm just going to move the sled up by a certain amount of feet. Right now, the closest one was about 50 feet away from you. Uh, the furthest one, 150. But between mm-hmm. that, they're like scattered in different places. Positions, gotcha. All right, then, cool. Um, hmm. I would... All right, so I can attack. I can attack twice. So I can just shoot one. Shoot the one that I'll, I'm going to shoot one arrow at the one that Sage was taking aim at, and then I'm going to shoot another arrow at somebody else. All right, um, roll to hit. Right. So I roll a two plus my modifier for special for fighting class. That's another two. I, what do I need to hit? I don't think I'm going to get more than a certain amount. What you roll? What was the total? I rolled at two. No, where are you going there? Roll your next attack. How dare you? In this camp, how dare you? How dare I, I, so I, I, I rolled an, el- I rolled an 11. Okay, so what do you add to that? So I add my proficiency to that, which is plus three. Plus, I add my fighting style, so that is plus two. You hit, you hit with the one, yeah, and uh, roll damage. All right, then. So that's one d. Well, arrows are d. It's a longbow, so it was a d ten, right? Guys, remember how to play D and D, because I thought I don't. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember. I remember we had a conversation where you were saying that you thought I was using a short bow. And you said that the longbow was a D10 rather than a D8, which would have been a short bow. Interesting. Yeah, I see you have longbow 1D8 piercing. So let's one go with eight. that. All right. So 1D8, no problem. You have been using a longbow the entire time, huh? Yeah. It sounds like it might be 1D10, and I might check right now. Might be. 1D8, actually. 1D8. 1D8. I think and it's every crossbow that's one. Five. <clears throat> five. And you're not adding... Oh, well, five is enough to kill this person anyway. Mm-hmm. So with that damage, you... Uh, after Sage magic missiles this first L, you miss with your first attack as you kind of stumble in the moving <laughs> sleigh. Uh, but then you get a bit of balance with the second shot, fire it off. 
and this time you slay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you. I hate you guys well, so man, much. Slaying, slaying. <laughs> so this little elf with his little um, pointy hat and pointy shoes and bells all around falls to the ground. Uh, blood everywhere on the white snow. It is my turn again. Yay! Um, I'm crying. I've been listening to White Winter Hymn though, and that's literally the song. That's literally the song. Just bodies, just bleeding bodies dropping on the snow. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay. Oh, this man. time you see two oh, elves man. realize like that the consequences are a bit more dire than they thought. And these two are going to fire shots of magic. A eight and a four. Are these peppermint flavored magic? <laughs> you see sparks of red and white shoot from the hand as ice blasts bounce off the sleigh, uh, not actually hitting No, no, I, I want to just like legit eat one. This Oh my god. <laughs> like what? You reach under the sleigh what? where a piece of ice was stuck and you pull it off and it's like a perfect peppermint snow cone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. And with that, it takes a turn. Oh my god. I want to equip my shield. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll take your turn though. But I know. Bonus action. I know. This uh, there really isn't much I want to do. That's it. Just equip my shield. Is your AC so I'm seeing on my sheet yeah. that is my armor thing 16 or 19? <laughs> 19 it's with the 16 shield. 16 without the shield, uh, but you have a shield that's magical. So, have the plus one. so it's three added when you have the shield. So 19 when you've done it. So you were, your armor class I just moved up to 19. Perfect, because I've been hitting you so hard so far. All right, <laughs> it's my turn. Sorry. You never know. With Look, if turn... I want to be healing people potentially, I need to be able to be alive to do it. So All right. uh, protecting myself. On my turn, one is going to fire an arrow, and then one is going to do a bolt of ice. Uh, let me just roll a d4 to see who and who they're aiming at. <coughs> Two and two. Who is second in the art? <laughs> kill Hannah for some reason. Oh, you just killed their friends. Of course, they'd be aiming at you. <laughs> so both of them aim at you, kill Hannah. Um, because all Tegan did was put her on her shield, which was not a particularly violent action. So does a fourteen and a twelve hit you, Gilana? Nope, I'm a class of fifteen. Why would you have fifteen? Because I have um, I call it. I have a chain shirt on. I'm just checking. Wait, aren't you wearing orange armor? Wait, oh, are, are we doing that? No, are no, we... like y'all would have had needed to change in the car. Yeah, yeah, we had the cartoon. Oh, okay. Fine. Why would I change? Are you? Okay, so orange is not what? naked. What are you kidding? Is he not what? Naked? What? What? Yeah, what? Real. Why would I oh, wait, come yeah. to change? Orange wants to be naked, so that would Arne not have worked. Orange <laughs> his heart-shaped boxers during this campaign. But, um, yes, damn it, I'm straight, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, a ray of frost, like, <clears throat> better aim this time as you close in on some of the closer. Like, the slate has been moving, so you are now at some of the closer elves as the pieces of. Uh, like just an arrow clings off your chain armor and a frost just whizzes past you. A rough frost whizzes past your head. Mm. And it is Arin's turn. I have a horrible feeling about this. Are we are we the four adventurers that end up permanently destroying Christmas? You know, I just check and it's not a plus two to hit it's a plus three. Hold on. I might supposed to be rolling damage for Gilada. I'm Which can, what, what can I judge? What can I judge this miss case and then come back and say make up <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not going out of court online. You're going to take one arrow. Because that was a 15 to hit that. A 15, uh, yeah. 
I realize the spell is plus two to hit, but the arrow is plus three. So I'm going to just roll a D8 real quick. And we're just going to just like add new flavor text as a piece uh, arrow just flies into the armor and just hits you for four damage. Okay, then. Or measly damage. I, 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 <laughs> okay, then. Um, should I have max HP since it's been... Uh, yeah, man, it's yeah, a bit more hilarious happening. But... <laughs> All right, so 65 nice. minus 4, 61. Yeah. Uh, Jesus, RN, I forgot how much health you, you, you all have. How close are they to me? All right, I'll say the cart, as you guys have been doing that, have been moving. The one that was furthest away from you. I'll just say you're, like, approaching one that within your turn, there is maybe one in swinging distance as you guys close in on the door, which is at the entrance of this place. But we're still flying in the slice, right? Yeah, yeah. It's no, not flying, and more just like skidding towards <laughs> the front door. All right. Gotcha. As you follow the trail that would have been pulling you to the location. I so what, begin so to rage. So what you're what you're telling me is that as we are killing um, these elves, we are slowly riding up in the sleigh sleigh with the music blaring. Yeah. Just a drive by, <laughs> just drive by killing Santa's elves. X go, give it to you. Ludicrous. Yeah, next man. Actually, we we like the sleigh, just like ride up next to the other guy, so I can just swing while still being in the sweat the sleigh. Um, the, the DMX massacre. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the true meaning of hitmus, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Um, so who is staring, actually? I'll, I'll know whoever, Sage, I'll say you're staring. It's you, I guess you're think. Uh, yeah, we'll, I just we'll do a quick reaction as he says, like you see him try to tee up this hit. Uh, you don't have vehicle proficiency, so just do like a regular roll and I'll just see how good it is. Okay. D twenty roll. Wow, I actually have vehicle proficiency, but uh. not twenty. Uh, how, did, uh, how did Aaron get his driver's license? Aaron, with that natural <laughs> twenty, I'll give you advantage on the hit if you don't already have it. To so just like do anything you want to it itself. <laughs> As Sage, like he barely escapes, narrowly be escapes being run over, uh, by the sled. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I of course entered rage because I'm, <laughs> I'm fired up. <laughs> as a barbarian, you're going to rage as a bonus action. Indeed. <laughs> I I just tried to press press the D twenties on the share screen. One second. Yep. Ah. Okay, he's taking swooning with him as he rages. At two eight. Uh what two eight. I to that? Oh, that, is, that is a uh, eight plus. Oh, that is eight plus six. What is eight plus six? Fourteen. Eight plus six 14. is fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, so with a fourteen, you slice almost miss, even with Sage's good driving. Like you're right beside this person in striking distance, and you just yeah. lean out like a regular man would have missed, but with your Goliath arm reach, you just like eek out a little bit. And slash across this person, just oh, rakes right. it across the chest as oh, you roll damage. your damage dice. As I add flavor text, you, you, you know that thing that you see in movies where like the teenager hangs out the car window and uses a baseball bat to like yeah. mail mailboxes. <laughs> you basically <laughs> hit down Santa's mailbox. <laughs> Two d six plus. It, it did it have a lot of mail in it? That is nine plus three. That's twelve damage. How's he looking? I love how Santa Claus went out of his way to give gifts to a bunch of murderers. And now we just turn <laughs> up in his crib. <laughs> like, that was like his first birthday. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were prepared to attack us. <laughs> oh we are not the bad guys here. Uh, Ari, you cleave straight true. through this person. Uh, <laughs> oh, he had a lot of mail. 
Like, shoot. Do you see me now, Father Hitmus? I am prepared. <laughs> and as you guys approach, like slide slowly towards the door. Uh, let me just take my two more attacks. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can we do this as an aside? You can, can edit can, this part can I out. Add some flavor text. Hold on, hold on. I want you to edit Wait. this part out. Um, can can we have Eli like illustrate the uh, as a combination of attacking like Sage is driving and Aaron's like swing? <laughs> Can honestly like picture that's insane. Like basically <laughs> drifting on a one heart open slate, <laughs> one else cut open slate. Um, <laughs> All right, cut back. Uh, I just rolled eight and eleven. That is a uh, fourteen and a and the other one's even lower and an eleven to hit. That hits absolutely well. It does hit stage, but let me just like roll a d4. I keep on saying see. it hits me, it hits the elf. Hold on, what is <laughs> two? That would be Galana again. I like, oh, yeah, we need to check on arm. health, right? Yeah, well, uh, pretty good in terms of health. Four damage to Galana, that is it. That's all. Um, <laughs> tell me real quick, um, what are your guys's AC? I realize I have the old one. Stage you're at 30 now, yep. Gilana 15, uh, Tega 19, Orion, yours. You took off another four of my HP, sir? No, no, no. AC. Okay. You're going to add one AC for the helmet? <laughs> Hold on, what's the current AC? Let me see if that's broken. 15, 15. 15, okay. You know, I was supposed to do a special thing with the helmet, uh, but I completely forgot. Where I, I would have allowed you to turn into a lion when you went into a bonus action rage. Well, that's all right because that would have. Are you trying? Are, a, are, a, are you trying try to I also did. turn Tig into a furry? Could you stop? Yeah, so let's uh, not. Um, not. Even that, you're just trying. To, you're trying to like pull all the shipping out of this that you can. Yes, hold, I am. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hear me out. Let's do it. Listen! Listen! It will be entirely flavorful. Instead of a full line, I'll just have your, your hair Arb. turn into a mane. Arms. I don't can, want that. Can you, can you just get a uh, lion, man? Or just, or, just give me li or just give it like a lion roar and that's it. Just yeah, a lion there's a lion roar. Lion roar is fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Wow. I, hear like I hear people like the prim women like the primal thing. So, yeah. I don't want, I don't want the, the, the spikes, though. Please. I'm not. Uh -huh. No, 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 that's fine. We, right we didn't even reach your side. <laughs> but I just realized that he is in a lion helmet and also leopard print. <laughs> yes, sir, naked uh, ass. Where is that? Goliath. <laughs> Lovely, beautiful. Uh, so, guys, with that turn... Seems uh, that he is used to this now. You just, guys slide he's gonna up. He's going to no matter what. You guys slide up at the end of that turn to... So you massacred two elves, uh, shot down one with an arrow after pelting it with magic missiles, cleave straight through one, uh, slid your way down to the front door where you notice that it is just a huge block of ice. Oh, the door God, is I'm a scared. huge block of ice. Like Can it. you guys getting... manage to deal with the eyes? Sage looks and at just it, be cool about again. it. Again, flashbacks. No, I'm getting full, <laughs> full blown flashbacks. Just be cool full about bl it, huh? Hmm. Piss on it. <laughs> <sighs> Can, I don't can, have. Can I don't have a wee wee, man. I can't can, do that. Are we out of initiative, by the way? No, no. The, the elves are right behind you. I, I'll still tell you whose turn it is. I just need to remember which ones I killed. You killed. Okay. Well, I mean, technically. Hey, Galana, you do you still them. have ale or some, something on you? Okay, nope. I just get one attack. You killed the other. It wasn't one. ale. It was oil. I do have oil. That's fine. You uh, have something so, to 
I roll a natural one. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's cool. <laughs> um, so the furthest one away from you at the other side of the field uh, runs yeah, to her fallen so ally who that's died and cradles them in their arms. Uh, <laughs> oh. Instead of attacking. Amazing. I feel bad. I feel bad, guys. Yeah, it is Sylvie's turn. My turn. Um, let's see. Where are they, the elves that are left in proximity to us? About uh, the block of ice. Um, there is one uh, 10 feet away. There is one about 30 feet away and another one. So there is 10 feet away behind you, 30 uh -huh. feet away to your left, and then 30 feet away to your right. Let's see. So what, we have three? And, Four? Well, hold on. There's also, you killed this one. Oh, there's just five currently. Just five? Yeah. All right, fine. Um, Sage tells the rest of them, I'm going to leave leave the elves to you. I'm going to break past this wall of ice. Uh, Sage points his finger at the wall of ice and casts. Shoot a fireball. I, I'm not going to waste my fireball. You, you're crazy. I'm going to cast Shatter. Ooh, it's about time you got that one. I love that. I love that. Um, hmm. How close are you shattering this damn door? 60 feet. I have, that's the range. Yeah, but you're uh, about like five. So, okay. So, you just put it like right in front of you guys. Because I imagine that the sled was like. Right can, I, can, I, can, I, can I not? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize what? we were there yet. I thought, I thought we were like still like a, a good little thing away. Um. What should I do in that? I mean, you can still do that, but like... Can I do the shatter, like, inside of the ice? Yeah. All right. Roll damage. All right. Let's see what this does. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, it's, da, da, da. it's a save. Oh, from, it's an AOE, so it's a save. I yeah. mean, it's a door. Is, it, is the ice going to, going to do a save? <laughs> yeah, you said the ice door just dodge out the other way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's 3d8. It fucking dab that shit. Let's see. <laughs> So that's, that's 12 plus sonic damage. Sonic boom. What, 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 what's my thing again? My spells, uh, my attack bonus is plus five. So that's 17. Oh, sorry, that's for hit. So that's 12. Okay, so. All right, this door. <coughs> Okay, I was just one that just checking if thunder damage did any extra blah 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 blah. So yeah. Well, this well, Sasha does specifically say that a creature. Yeah, man, that would uh, it would have disadvantage on a saving throw. All right. Gotcha. So you cast shatter on this door. It looks pretty bad off, but it's a sturdy door. You see cracks forming in it, uh, but it's still standing. Pieces okay. of ice have chipped off. Uh, mm -hmm. You're doing anything else? Um, hmm. Movement bonus action, free action. I will. You do. Have yeah, we're, we're we're already there. Like Sage is gonna <laughs> hop out, <laughs> hop out of the sleigh, okay. and just um, pretty much walk up to, up onto the door. Okay. Like a um, good 15 feet. He's 15 feet away from it. All right. Um, everybody do a perception check for me real quick as mm -hmm. I roll attack at the Ooh. same time. Who? What? Perception. Just... Perception. I got 14. Percy! Oh, wait. I'm rolling a D8. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That I you can get. Bring it back to... I'll... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... Twenty. All right, Keep so 12 from Sage, nice. 4 from Gilana, 2 from Tegan, 20 from Orin. Uh, I see. Sage, okay. you get something that something is pretty off about these elves. Um, Orin, you know exactly what a charmed person looks like. You look around and you notice that. Well, these... Yeah, I actually have resistance to charm, so. Yeah, so you know, them. like. You have an idea of what somebody looks like when they're under some thrall. 
and you notice that these elves are like that. Stage, you mostly notice that they seem a bit off. Ah. Uh, also, there's something I need to resolve. I rolled a nat 20 to hit Sage. Interesting. Okay. So, Wait, I'm the gonna... elves are thralled? Yeah, are you yeah, guys yeah. going to tell us that the elves are thralled? I mean, I only I only see that something is off. Yeah. Like... Orin, who has nat 20? Are you I, I've seen going this to before, tell us? Friends. The elves. They seem they're being controlled. They're not they're not acting naturally. This is not something's wrong. And Sage interjects it just like, mm, it's true. They don't the fit the the natural the the normal cheery descriptions that I've read about. They're also very short. I thought elves are tall. <laughs> you know, should, should, should we continue with elves. Them or or just no, there's what there would be on. like he would be familiar with Goliath elves. I'm just going to say I had passive perception. No, 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 no. We got perception. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm just saying in my case, because I had resolved from the beginning that I was not going to directly harm the elves. I just did not feel right about it personally. Ah, uh, uh, are you saying you would so take that as, as cookie kind of had that passive innate perception mm -hmm. to not have yeah. the elves? So it's like right. I, I was not, I was thinking anything I do would be either. Healing, buffing, or getting the door down. I was not going to do any harm to the elves. Alright, so Sage, after you hit the door with a shot, the, mm -hmm. the yeah. elf that is right behind you, uh, as you dismount the sleigh, runs up behind you and with a perfect, precise uh, Jesus, stab Magus with a uh, long sword, just oh. stabs you for. Can I react? For, for... You can react. Wow, four damage. So, four obviously, four plus obviously, three. Is it four? Eight, plus one. Oh, so five damage. You just say Critical. five damage? Are you crazy? That's like one fifth of my life. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Um, I said stabs. Well, stab with this is fine. Yes, go ahead. What are you doing as your reaction? You base. What's your HP? <laughs> well, well, so a shield and an arcane ward, obviously. How many five, spells five, five, have you so first throw for it? Uh, huh? Your arcane ward gives you how much HP? Uh, <laughs> I gotta go look that up again. One I think it was moment. 15 last time. Something like that. <clears throat> that sounds about right. Let's and just, let's just say 15. Let's right. just say it gives you 15. Yeah, because it could be less. All right, so I'll say that I have 10 left. <laughs> I like how even on a crit, it's just like that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, and it's Gilana's turn. Oh, fudge crackers. All right, cool. So that Wait, guy that just... Is HP? That guy fine. More. He has more HP than he's got. <laughs> yeah. After that I'm attack. Pretty, I'm pretty much baby tank at this point. Baby tank? Do, 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 do. Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, what are you doing, Gilana? All right, so person that just shot, shot Sage, I am going to hit him with my Hunter's Mark, plus, well, I don't need to overkill. I think Hunter's That's Mark dead. and the two That's and dead. the double attack should be able to do that. When you're on the road, day, night, day, it's like facing So roll to hit? Yeah. Two, two D20s for the... Or just one. No, I rolled two. All right, so I roll a five and an eight. I think it's plus five for modifiers. So that's a 10 and a 13. All right. Uh, 13 to hit? Yeah. All right, the 13 hits. Um, Sage, I think your arcane one is 10. So five. Okay. All right, then. So I'm rolling 1d8. And how much was Hunter's mark again? I uh, don't think Hunter's... Wait. Yeah, it does. It does blunt damage. Okay. Um, I'm checking your stuff right now. Guys, remember D&D? That thing we used to play? <laughs> oh, I don't. Listen, <laughs> listen. 
Sir, I had put the description of the things in your sheet, and I swear if it's deleted, I'm going to throw I so many I edits at you. I, have, I haven't touched my sheet since we left, so I mean, like, if it's not there... All right, hold on. I mean, you, you could have fully deleted it from before. Give me a second as I get my player's handbook. One. I can't get the visual of this freaking leopard lion naked ass Goliath out of my head. <laughs> yeah, he looks like Conan the Barbarian, but with a helmet and with a bra, okay? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should preserve the lives of these elves since they're being controlled by something. They literally fully like if we can find a way to just get them away from us without killing them particularly can we knock them out instead of kill them well i mean like i do have i do have a spell for ensnaring strike now mm -hmm. no no i think that does damage whatever whatever you guys choose non-lethally capture them i'll work with you guys because our our solution to charmed foes is always to kill them to stop the charm but Perhaps that's not the best course of action. Can we knock them out? At I the said the I said the I still have Google as a going concern that I could have checked this whole time. <laughs> I could non-lethally electrocute them. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Roll I'll just knock time. them out. Look, we've knocked people out before, remember? Oh, how much, how much oh, is this? Let's just one do that one, again. One just knock them out. Yes. All right, so I roll a five and a four, nine total. Um, you rolled a five, you Rose rolled a five. four. Have mm. you added your decks? Oh, I was supposed to add decks? Hot damn. Dex is plus two, so that would be 11. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to give you a, a, a disadvantage on something that you do. Oh, yeah, because there. of the whole cold fingers thing. I'm just going to give you some cold damage and call it even. I'm mm -hmm. just going to roll a d4 of cold damage and you get to kill this person because 11 is just enough to kill him. Just like mm -hmm. right Are you going to knock him out or kill him? Um, with an 11, can I... I get one. Oh, Non-lethally non shoot an arrow in him. Can I non-lethally, non-lethally shoot an arrow in him? <laughs> he's like, um, he's green arrow. He has like a roll the a best medicine arrow. check of your freaking life. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to non-lethally <laughs> skewer this little motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> could he? Could he not have like a like a like a boxing glove arrow? Thirteen. And I believe that my medicine proficiency is... <laughs> if it's not a minus one, I swear to you. No, it's not a minus one, trust me. Oh, it's plus two. Okay, with a 15, you shoot this person with just enough to kill them, but you, like, pin them to the bridge on the ground. I would like to describe how I do this. I mean, you're going to... Well, let me hear what you're saying, because I had an idea in mind, but go ahead. So I sh so I I sh I shoot the arrow with the intent of pinning his clothes, and then it flies right through um what you call it, his cheek, pinning him to the bridge. Okay, I was thinking the abdomen, so that is close enough. So yeah, <laughs> he's pinned like through his cheek, <laughs> so the bridge. Uh, so that that's one. <laughs> terrible. He passes out from the pain immediately. <laughs> To be fair, I was gonna say you, you guys are terrible. I, I would much rather be dead than have an arrow through my jaw, bro. No, uh, Cookie, you're not understanding. Oh. It, it's not going through his jaw, it's going through his cheek. Yeah, just the skin. Uh -huh. His cheeks. You know how painful that is? It is. I That's mean, why he passed out. Compared to him dying. <laughs> non I think I would rather die. <laughs> I mean, there are people with piercings like that, just maybe voluntarily. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> when, when this what is all over, when, when this is high, all over, he'll saying. be he'll be the popular guy because every time people come up to him, be like, "You want to know how I got these scars?" Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to know these scars? 
<laughs> Cookie, okay, remember this. If you've ever played any of the Arkham games, like every move that Batman does is a non-lethal move. Non-lethal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Non-lethal. Non -lethal. Non -lethal. Non -lethal. Non-lethal. breaks every bone in your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very Gilana. Uh, after that kill, as a matter of fact, let me keep it fair. Roll my D4. It's going to be between you and Sage. All right. What I'm going to say is odds you even the Sage. I'm rolling a D4. And that's Sage. Okay. Uh, this elf blasts a ray of frost. Uh, does, does it beat an 18? Does it beat an 18? Why would it need to beat an 18? What's she doing? Well, I have my shield on still. So. Oh, yes. You had cast shield. Mm -hmm. No, it does not beat an 18. That <laughs> is a 16. So it blasts a ray of frost to just to say a sheet of light, stop it as your defense sequence and your abjuration magic and your shield just glances this ice thing off of it. And uh, this, is, this, is, turn. This, this giant basketball player just like slapped the snowball and was like, not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but that is Get the, that shit out of the, here. the manifestation of my shield. <laughs> just like, the, he's just like uh, LeBron James, just like, Poof. I don't know. <laughs> Not in my house. Get that shit out of here. Okay. <laughs> um, how sage is HP? Fine. Everybody's HP is fine. I've been doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Fine. Um, how's the door looking? Just the very ice healthy. Door. Sturdy ass door. Knock on wood, stone, and ice. You should have say you should have Sage and Cal have sex against it. <laughs> Share that a shit right now. Does Pentecostal fire do anything to it? Huh? I mean, try. The Pentecostal will the Pentecostal fire do anything? Give it the old college try. Nice. Call it old Pentecostal fire. I guess fire. I could give it a try. Yeah, you know, I'll try. You can, always, you can always look in my backpack for a flask. Or oil that you said you had? Uh-huh. Uh, let's save that for just in case. Mm -hmm. We can knock it down. Actually, no. Can I just take my mace to the door? Sure. <laughs> Roll to hit. Don't know. Mm. You know what? I don't know. You see, like, my um, my rolls for that kind of stuff is never So good. you can just hit it with the fire or roll to hit it with the door. I think I'll just roll to hit with fire. I'll try fire. I, I, I mean, uh, well, remember, it isn't actually roll. fire. Yeah. Um, your Pentecost of fire. We should say that this is sacred flame that you're casting. Uh, you're a cleric of Lathander. Sorry, um, Pentecost. I'm supposed to have a, like, a saving throw, um, but like it's a door. What I'll do is just Your like door. the most disadvantage. I just put six dice. And just are like, going to take the lowest roll, which is a one. So you can roll your damage. Okay. <laughs> you got a 20 and a one. <laughs> and I'm better okay. going to need that. Um, boy, it's been... Let me to see. Get two Sacred Flame. Dice. I think it's 2d8. Um, yeah, yeah, 2d8. Because uh... you're level six now. Uh, three and two, five, whatever. All right, so the door takes five damage. Still looking pretty. Like, you, you guys not even halfway through this door of ice as yet. And uh, hey, two elves. Work on it. Uh, there are two elves that get to go, and I'm just going to roll some attacks real quick. The flashbacks continue. Um, you just hit the door as well, Tegan. <laughs> um... So that uh, those are uh, two. Let's get this. Oh wait, my hunter's mark. I can pass that on to people like fun. Oh, neat. I'd have to cast it again. What do you mean, so, pass it on? Like as soon as the person that it's casted it on dies, I can just I guess I can just find another target. Nice. 
So as unfortunately as 16 and a 10 hits neither like neither Sage or Tegan at the current moment. Uh you guys AC are like 18 and 19. So it is I will have basically to... literally it's literally just occurred to me that you have to roll in at 20 if you're doing like no, a 19 or a 20. But that's not uncommon for him, so. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to have this person go up closer. Uh, you did eliminate that person. There are four elves still on the board. Orin, your turn. So we're trying to get through a door, right? Yeah. yeah. The old tale. I mean, you can deal with the elves. I remember. Yep. I remember. Leave, a door. Leave a door to me. Leave the door to you. All right. I, mean, I, I turn around, I shuffle around and look at the elves. <laughs> and I run at them. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and Sage, 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 Sage reminds oh, him non <laughs> just yells non lethally. I realized I've been attacking you guys with nine elves instead of seven, and I'm sorry. And although it hasn't made a difference, go ahead and attack. All right. I'll skewer the lot here. Non lethal. All right. I'll just punch up two real close together for you. The two oh, that I had. Oh, okay. right. Non lethal. Yeah. <laughs> might as well be. Wait. Wait, you say you're putting up two real nice and close, but, 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 didn't you remove the whole cleave thing? Right? Yeah, but you have um um great weapon feet, which basically right. does the same Wait, thing, where if you a, kill one yeah. thing, you just attack the next. All right, spill over damage and all that. Let me, let me just read this one more time. I mean, <laughs> roll it to hit first, because this could be relevant with the wrong roll. All right. All right, I have a um, you have wait. two attacks and I think advantage, advantage. right? I'm raging, yeah, I'm raging, so that's advantage there. Oh, I didn't add my, my rage bonus damage last, I guess that doesn't matter though. But I swing at the first one, that is a <laughs> nat 20. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? let's roll nat 20. Damage, Non-lethally, of course. I not 20 punctures. Non-lethal so. critical. Yes. What yes. else yes. is that yes. 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 you, uh, you do, with a not 20, you won't even have to roll for the first person you hit. You just straight up clap them um, cricket style out of the field. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to do one thing. I'm going to roll the damage. All right, and see if it spills All over right. to the next. Spills, I want to see if it spills over the next and, and knocks him out as well entirely. So this is all of this plus six damage. No, or is it just three? Do you double your attack bonus as well? No, just no, the dice roll. Just the dice roll. Okay. It's 20 damage overall. Wait, 23 damage overall, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um with rage, you only add plus two to the attack. You don't um do it oh, at advantage wait. automatically. Reckless attack so, allow you to do it with rage. No, no, no. It's um the the damage for you know it's two d six plus three. Do, would that double to four d six plus six? Plus or three. Just... Four d six right. plus three. What I was All saying right. is that that's um, plus two. That's plus two from the rage then. So yeah. five. Four d six plus five. So twenty five um, damage. How much? Twenty five damage. Twenty five damage. You fully knock out both of them. Um, I will say. All you... right. You would have had to oh, reckless true. attack to get the advantage, but that, that's fine. Um, Interesting. All right, I bat one into the other one, out of the way. <laughs> so I fully just put two ah. things on the field, like two of them just appear on the field like they were invisible or something. I just see them appear on the field. <laughs> All right, just like, boom. Uh, so <laughs> we're back down. Why, why did I imagine a, a, a Mortal Kombat uh, lethality where he's like, does, does the x ray and you see like there are six skulls crack <laughs> as, as they fly away? Oh, what a person. Uh, and you have another, another attack. One. Yes, I do. 
And I run for however many of them are there left. Yeah, I run for them. Yeah. <laughs> You're having way, way too much fun. <laughs> you let uh, a puppy go in just like a chicken fan. <laughs> pretty much. But you know what? It's been six months. I think at this point, he's still And he's not he was not 20. Pre- not 20, that shit, boy. <laughs> Poor John. He was one Christmas away from retirement. He was one Christmas away from retirement. <laughs> All right. Uh, so was damage again. What the fuck? What are you How doing? Many in the 20s? <laughs> How many in the 20s? How many in the 20s have you rolled? You just wanted that's, that's, to that's, that's, that's 17 damage. With 17 damage. Non lethality. Non lethal. 17 damage. You fully <laughs> with 17 <laughs> damage. Uh, run up to another one and just like hit them on the head and just bury them deep in the snow. <laughs> All right. Tegan, Tegan, whose man's is this? <laughs> and after that, I point at the last one like, <laughs> <laughs> like, on, I just there, like, save some for the rest of us. No, we're supposed to get this. Door down. Exactly. <laughs> All right, my the other one you hit yeah. kind of snaps. Oh, hit us, as you see. You hit the other one in like just not even like from the, attacking them, but just you swinging back your axe to your great sword, sorry, to position it again. You accidentally let's slap the other one, uh, who seems to just kind of shake off a trance for a second. Uh, <laughs> and then just run off. <laughs> uh, there are two there on either <laughs> side of the thing. Um, <gasps> Wait, come back! The one one the, the one the, oh, it's not my turn, is it? Sage, it's your turn again. This is a big old Christmas game. <laughs> my turn? Yeah. Yeah, Sage, Sage is literally getting more and more triggered by this ice door. Um, how far is everyone from the door? Um, I'm just, basically uh, Orin, right by you, I assume. Yeah, everybody but Aaron is right by you. Aaron is about 40 feet away, just having the time of his life. Um, and, I said, I, and I said I was 15 yeah. feet away, right? <laughs> what? I said I was 15 feet away from the door, right? Um, 10, 5, you can step back and be 15. Yeah, but then they're going to get caught up in the blast. Um, fine, I can't do what I want to do then. Let's see. It's going to have to be this one then. Uh, Sage cast Scorching Ray on uh, the door. Uh, just roll damage, but misses something. Uh, these one is each of them is. Two. Well, I read what Scorching Ray does. So roll damage. So overall eighteen. Hold on. So eighteen overall. Um. So you extend your hand out and point it towards the door, just raise a fire, three, hit the door, hit the door, hit the door. Uh, it seems to be very effective. Uh, with that 16 damage, you burn through the door almost completely. It seems very effective towards uh, this block of ice. Uh, you look and... There's just this minuscule, like, you can literally touch it. Snowflake thin sheet of ice left. Mm-hmm. And I look, I, I, I look at... Um, who, who was after me again? Gilana. I look at Gilana. Okay, cool. And I tell... Well, like, Gilana. Our, our, our pretty much took care of everybody else, right? Exactly. Like, just finish it. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going for the door then. Yeah, I wouldn't make you roll to hit. Like, as what you how, are you going towards the door? What are you doing? Yeah. Going towards the door. Okay, what you doing? Um, two handed axing. Okay, give me that with disadvantage. Okay, because <laughs> of the, very because cold hand. Can I move my hunter mark to the door or is <laughs> it... why not? Sure, <laughs> you hunter mark the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hunters mark the door. The door I'm is gonna a hunt, prey. I'm going to hunt that door down if it tries to run. Good. 
Uh, Hold on, sorry. Is there an elf? There's an elf running. Fuck it. Oh, no, you hit the door, though. That's fine. Sure. Right. I, this is God. <laughs> sorry. I, I forgot that I wanted to mark him so that we could ask him questions, but I'm just assuming he got away. Why was this door so OP? <laughs> All right. So two, so two attacks, right? With that? At least we didn't have to pee on it. Just saying. Fair enough. Is it two attacks? No. I can do double attack with that, right? So I roll a 19 and a <laughs> 4. All right. Um... The door just shutters inwards, and you guys are looking inside. Uh, anybody want to do anything specific? Because we're about to jump ahead soon. Um, before, like Sage, before we go in, we like he's scanning around his surroundings. Want to let the barb walk in first? Do you want to interrogate the one that's stuck to the bridge? Hmm. Fully knocked out. Um, so, okay, I'm going to describe Lauren what wants to just charge in head first. So, Tina. actually, let me describe what you... Hey, 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 Mr. Miner digging for gold. What's up? Mr. Who? Oh, yeah, you. sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, what you see, Gilhana, as you bring your axe towards this door, uh, <laughs> as it disintegrates in front of you, uh, just wet and thawed from the fire blast mm -hmm. you see standing in a open hallway in the interior of the igloo a circular building there is a large uh, pine tree near the back of the room the room is about 80 feet in diameter so like 160 feet across mm -hmm. There is a factory floor far to one corner. Uh, to the back of the room, you're seeing a balcony that leads up past the pine tree, this large giant pine tree. And uh, there's a fireplace at the back. But what you do notice is a large hung king figure in front of the tree, standing in red robes. That turns to look at you. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. My good. <laughs> Sage, Sage yeah. looks at him and he's like, Get Hannah's ready. Yep. <laughs> Sage looks at him and he's like, We meet again, Mr. Claus. <laughs> <laughs>